Welcome to this video on strategic planning. Today we are going to be covering some of the basic concepts and of course we are working on Tom Bandy's writings. My name is Pablo Jimenez and I am going to be your instructor for this video. In our previous videos we studied the meaning of concepts such as vision and mission and we also saw two models for church development and growth namely the declining church and the thriving church. But in this occasion we turn our sight to strategic planning, a key topic for any church revitalization plan. Our video has been developed in dialogue with Tom Bandy's Moving Off the Map, a book that we strongly recommend and you can see the cover of the book in this slide. So let's see some of the basic concepts related to strategic planning. Our thesis is that the real reason churches are dying in the midst of a changing cultural environment is that they are relying on the wrong model of leadership. Our theological basis lead us to think that change must be anchored in the experience of the congregation with Jesus. And the real issue before the church is not merely theological, it is Christological. One of the key questions that we studied in our, on our previous videos and that we are going to be studying on this set of videos is what is it about our experience with Jesus that this community cannot live without? That is part and parcel of all the videos on moving off the map on these videos on strategic planning. We must recognize that change always brings stress and that there are stresses that lie behind any demand for systemic change. There are the stresses that lie behind the demand for ownership by the congregation and also the stresses that lie behind the demand for change and that demand for change of course must be anchored in an experience of faith, the experience of the congregation with Jesus the Christ. The key problem that we face as we think about strategic planning is that many churches fail to make intentional connections between faith sharing and beneficial action. The purpose of church leadership in the 21st century is to give birth to new leadership, to birth a new style of leadership. Now, how do we define leadership. How can we define leadership? Well, leadership is a process. It's the process of including more and more people with an infinite diversity of gifts and skills within a single leadership event. Leadership leads to an enlarged vision, shared emotion, motivated action, and a passion for justice. Regarding enlarged vision, we can say that we must reorient our leadership energies from prioritizing church insiders to prioritizing the lost who have no experience of connection with God. We must discover in detail the real diversity of individual needs and potentials. Shared emotion. The church must share the suffering as well as the celebration of the world. The church must also reveal the spectrum of emotion within us to the public, even if that leaves us vulnerable to criticism. Motivated action. Anchor every activity in your unity with God, your gifts and your callings. Simultaneously, do good and share the faith motivation for any deed. Passion for justice. Let the passion for justice and the joy of relationship with Jesus the Christ become a single seamless flow of positive energy. So let's now introduce system analysis. In moving off the map, Tom Bandy details his congregation mission assessment program which we are going to be calling CMA. The CMA is intended to go beyond the identification of strengths 
and weaknesses to the identification of hidden corporate addiction. One of the aims of the CMA is to help the church identify and abandon its addictions. And we define addictions as habitually self-defeating behavior patterns that run like threads among all seven subsystems of church life. The CMA leads planners through the thriving church system in three major stages. Altogether, there are 11 different subsystems of the thriving church that need to be examined. The three major stages are foundation, function, and form. And these stages are comprised of 11 subsystems detailed in the following slides. Three subsystems constitute the church's foundation. These are congregational identity, congregational mission, and congregational organization. The first three subsystems are foundational. This stage leads planners to assess the basic umbrella of congregational life, such as core values, bedrock beliefs, motivating vision, and key mission that pervades all congregational life. Five subsystems define the function of your congregation. Experiencing God, growing God, listening to God, serving God, and sharing our experience with God. And three subsystems shape the form of your church ministry, property, funding, and communication. Who should participate in the CMA process? Well, for the CMA process, seek to include people from the margins of congregational life as well as core participants. What is our goal? Well, the goal is to build as truthful a profile of congregational life and mission as possible. And this finishes our first video on strategic planning. Look forward for the next two where we are going to be detailing the CMA process. Blessings.